Nothing there. I need your help. If it's absolutely necessary, what's wrong? The farmer Akil is under attack by mercenaries. What? Those riffraff are hanging around on Akil's farm? Then let's not waste any time. Follow me. Couldn't get away with that. Now watch how this works. Nothing's I'm gonna rip you to pieces. Holy oh, shit! Don't take any crap! You're in for it now! That's it for you. Thank Innes. I thought my time had run out. My Not name is even Akio. Any gold. Hmm. I farmed this humble piece of land. I think Who I'll take your people? weapon. Those were mercenaries from Onar's farm. Those bastards don't know anything but plunder and murder. I'd been fearing the worst. Well, thank Innes it didn't come to that. Tell me, what can I do for you? What about a few gold pieces? I'm afraid to disappoint you. We're poor farmers. It's just enough to live on. All I can offer you is a meal. Go to Katie and let her take care of you. Have you heard anything about missing citizens? Don't make me laugh. Heard of them? Some of my own people are missing. Tonak and Telbor used to work on my fields until three days ago. And I know exactly that they wouldn't up and leave the farm just like that. And yet they've simply vanished and no one can tell me where they went. If you happen to find out what's become of them, be sure to let me know, will you? What did the mercenaries want from you? You don't know that? Onar, the landowner, hired them. They guard his farm and collect the rent for him. And that means they go from farm to farm and take whatever they want. And whoever can't pay gets a taste of their steel. You know your way around this area? Sure. What do you want to know? Where can I find Onar's farm? Just go back down the stone steps and follow the road to the east. At some point you come to a tavern. From there you go farther east 
until you come to the big fields. That's where the mercenaries hang out. What is that tavern to the east of here? Ask Randolph. He knows more about it than I do. He's been there a few times. What is there in the woods behind your farm? There's just a whole bunch of monsters back there. And the wolves are the least dangerous. A few bandits are also said to have their caves there. Well, they've left my farm alone so far. Baltram sent me. I'm supposed to pick up a shipment for him here. So, you're his new messenger. Okay, I've already made up the package. I've gotta go. So long. I really wish I could have done more for you. Hey, you! Are you all right? Yes, I'm fine, thank you. Why don't you defend yourself against Onar's tyranny? For us farmers near the city, it makes more sense to stay on the good side of the city militia than to rely on Onar's mercenaries. On the other hand, there's Bengar and Sekub who would rather give up their farms than work for the king. Where do I find the farms of Bengar and Sekub? They're not far from the farm where the landowner lives. Go east from here and you'll find them. Haven't you ever considered moving away from here? It's not easy to get away from this part of the country. All the land is walled in by high, insurmountable chain of mountains. The only two ways out of here are the pass to the Valley of Mines and the harbor. Since we cannot afford passage on a ship and the Valley of Mines is a place of no return, we're going to have to stay here. What do you know about the pass? I've never been there myself, but it must be somewhere near Bangar's farm on the high pastures. Look out for your husband. I shall do my best. Hey, you! Akil says you've got a meal for me. We've hit some hard times ever since the barrier fell and the land is no longer safe. Here's a loaf of bread, a little meat and some water. That's all I can spare, I'm afraid. Hey! Who are you? My name is Enum. I'm one of the field hands. And the half pot over there is my brother Egil. We've been working here on the farm for Akil for several years. How's the field work going? Do you want to help? There's another hole back there. Grab it and then head for the field. You just have to make sure that the field raiders don't surprise you. They'll tear your arm right off with one bite. Why don't you do anything about the field raiders? I've killed more of them than I can count. The only problem is they keep coming back. What's up? It's been a long time since we've seen a stranger on our land who didn't want to skin us. I hope I'm not wrong about you. I'm Agil, and the strange bird over there is my brother Anim. How's the field work going? Great! If those miserable field raiders weren't constantly destroying our harvest. Why don't you do anything about the field raiders? You're joking. Since I've been on this farm, I've killed so many of the beasts that I've lost count. But alas, new ones keep coming. Your brother tells a similar story. Ah, what exactly does he say? That he has also done away with plenty of field raiders. What? That loser can't even find his way home by himself. Tell him he shouldn't brag like that. Hey, you! Your brother thinks you're a braggart. What? He's actually got the nerve to say that? He'd better watch out or I'll teach him a lesson. Go and tell him that. Enem is a bit irritated about this thing. He shouldn't puff himself up so much, else I'll tear his head off. Tell him that.
Hey. I think the two of you should just relax. The bastard didn't give in, am I right? I'll tear out his guts. Tell him that. Do whatever you want. I'm leaving. Yeah, just slink off quietly. The ba I'll... Why don't you tell him yourself? I'll do that. Well, at least you've got some I think I'll take your weapon. Nothing to plunder. Wait a minute. Do you want to cause even more trouble? I think it would be better if you left now. Oh man, my head. Haven't you done enough damage? I think you should go now. You're in for it now.
nothing there. Nothing to be had there. Nothing there. So long. Everything all right? Yes, I'm fine. That Alvarez has become bolder and bolder lately. Good thing that's over now. What I could use now is a good drop in the tavern. You're not from around here, right? I come from the Southern Isles. At some point they said they needed people in Corinnus because of that magic ore. But when I got there they had this huge barrier in place and I didn't want to go in there so I started working in the harbor. Well the ship stopped coming in and so I went to work for Akil. I've had worse jobs actually. You hang out in the tavern? That's right, but not recently. I cannot afford going there anymore. What exactly is going on there in the tavern? There's gambling there. Two fellows compete against each other. Whoever can hold the most beer wins. In the end, I did nothing but lose, and now I need to make some more money first. Who did you go up against? Against Rukar, that old good-for-nothing. So far, he's beaten me every time. But somehow I have the creeping suspicion that the filthy swine has laced my beer with gin every time. I suspect he keeps the gin hidden in that damn chest of his, that lousy scumbag. Somebody ought to sneak some plain water into his chest. Then he could lace my beer all he wants. If I only had enough money to compete against him one more time. All right, that's that. I'll be off then. I took care of the bandits. Really? Anyone could say that. Do you have proof? <sighs> Should I go back and cut off their heads? No, I don't think that will be necessary. 
I believe you. You have done the merchants and the city a great service. Here is the money you have promised. Show me your wares. You're doing business with pirates? What? Who told you that? I talked to one of them. He seems to be waiting for you in his bay. What can you do? These are hard times. Everybody has to look after his own. You will bear the consequences for this. Hey, listen. I'll tell you all that I know, and in return, you won't rat on me, okay? What do you know about the pirates? They live in a remote part of the island of Corinus. It can only be reached with a cog or some other ship, as far as I know. The citizens of Corinus fear them, quite rightly so, for they're nothing but a bunch of nasty cutthroats. Still, if you ask me, they're nowhere near as bad as the bandits. What is it you're trading? I mostly supply them with food. And for that, they give me the finest rum that's to be had in Corinus. I could take care of this deal for you. That would be great. I cannot leave Corinus at the moment. Here, take this package and tell Skip not to be so stingy with the rum this time. It should be at least three bottles. That was all I wanted to know. I've got Akil's delivery. Excellent. Finally, I can offer fresh goods again. Here are your 50 gold pieces. Show me your wares. Martial law is immediately declared in all cities and regions of the realm. Nobody ever asked for my opinion. He simply talks too much. Hey, you! About those missing people. Yes? So why won't they listen to me? Let me tell you what I know. The farmers have lost some people as well. I have found out that the bandits are responsible for the disappearances here. The leader of the bandits is named Dexter. He is responsible for the kidnappings. I knew Dexter back in the penal colony. He was working for the ore baron Gomez then. He certainly will remember you. Uh, you should be careful. I think you're on the right track. Just carry on. About this weapons dealer. I used to say that myself. Touching that. That's all just some gossip. And it's gonna get even worse. About the wolf skins, I've got them, here. Great! I knew you would be suitable for this job. Here's the pay I promised you. And? So what do you think? Isn't this better work than banging away at swords all day, or filling little bottles in a dusty chamber? Will I get your approval to sign up with a different master? I had hoped you would choose me. 
But if that's the way you want it... Does that mean you'll vote for me? If none of the other masters objects, yes. But you would certainly have made a good hunter. Show me your wares. When can I start as your apprentice? We can really use a man around here who can beat an orc. Moreover, Hakon told me how you settled the business with the bandits. Good man. As far as I'm concerned, you can start here right away. As for the other masters, Thorben has given you his blessing. Bosper tried to talk me out of it. He wants you as an apprentice for himself. I had a brief but intense discussion with him on this matter. In the end, he agreed. As usual, Constantino doesn't care about anything. He said that as far as he's concerned, you can start wherever you like. And Matteo says you brought him back his gold. Seems to me you're an honorable young man. That means you have the approval of all the masters. Are you ready to start your apprenticeship with me? I'm in. Good. I'll teach you how to forge a decent sword. Besides that, it's time you got a bit stronger. You're wasting away before my very eyes. What are my tasks as an apprentice? Three guesses. Forge, forge, and forge? You aren't as dumb as you look. I pay per blade. If you don't work, there's no money. It's that simple. Furthermore, I'll teach you everything you need to know to make a plain sword. Making magic blades is only something for experienced smiths, and you're a long way from that. If you need a place to sleep, you can bunk down somewhere in my house. Everything clear so far? This is going to change. Don't tell me you didn't know that. I wouldn't be so sure. Hey, you, come over here. That's all just gossip. I've got something for you. There's a fellow here who insisted That's on totally talking obvious. to you. Since you weren't here, he told me to give you a message. He wants to meet you behind Halver's fish shop. This piece of information is free, but that's an exception, kid. Anything beyond that will cost you. What did the guy look like? I could tell you that. That's nothing new. But you need to pay for it, my friend. That's totally odd. That's all just gossip. I need information. I what did the guy look like? Well, rather tall, dark skinned and strong, but no uniform. Somehow menacing. And his face? His face? When he looked at me, I was glad that it wasn't me he had come for. There was something scary in his eyes. Anyway, I think you should go see him. This is bound to be interesting. Yeah, the question is, for whom? He should have known better. Have you ever used a teleporter stone? No, 
but I've heard of them. The water mages aren't too sure about those things yet. I've given it a try. <laughs> of course you have. You're not afraid of anything, are you? Well, if you want to use the things, go ask Orlin, the tavern owner, whether he'll let you into his boarded up cave. I think he has hidden one of the teleporter stones for the water mages near his tavern. Walk out of the eastern city gate and simply follow the path. You can't miss it. I don't want to hear that anymore. Can you help me get through the thick woods in the east? Okay, but what do you want to go there for? Nefarious ordered me to find more ornaments. One of the places where I'm supposed to look is in the middle of the woods. I see, and that's still too dangerous for you alone, right? No problem. Let me know when you want to leave. You have to feel sorry for the poor guy. It's totally that was obvious all you already along. know what I think. That alone caused more trouble. Hey, you! Hey, if you want to buy fish, come to my booth tomorrow, okay? Someone's gotta do the Hey, you! Hey! Been there, done that. I think this piece of paper belongs to you. What? Let me see. Really have known better. Uh, okay, let's stay calm about this. Uh, listen, I have resold the goods I got from the bandits. But there's no reason to take this straight to the militia, right? I'm sure we can come to an understanding, can't we? Looks like it's the slammer for you. No, wait, you can't do that. After all, I'm nothing but, you know, small fry. You should have thought of that sooner. Now I'm going to report you to Lord Andre. You'll regret this. Someone's got to do the work. You mustn't believe everything you hear. Let's wait and see what happens. He should have known that. I knew that would be a problem. It can't go on like this way. That was going to cause more trouble. I've got a package for you from Baltram. What? He's sending me an errand boy? Scared shitless, is he? Oh well, what can you expect from such a puny penny pincher? He says he wants three bottles of your rum in return. Ha <laughs> ha, wouldn't he like that? First he makes me wait forever, doesn't even show up in person. Then he has the nerve to make demands. Here, give him two bottles. That's enough for him. Nothing there.
never would have thought of that himself. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes. Nothing's ever going to change that. Nobody will learn anything from me. That's the first I've heard of it. I've come to collect the bounty for a criminal. Halvor is a fence. He sells the goods that the bandits steal from the merchants. So he's behind it. My men will lock him up at once. I don't think he'll create any difficulties. I shall give you your bounty now. Look, I've got this letter of recommendation from your provisions master. What? Show me. Well, I'll be. This must have cost you quite an effort. It's no easy feat to get something like this out of Martin. All right, I'm convinced. If Martin vouches for you, I shall let you join. Let me know when you're ready. The security measures for the protection of the upper quarter will be further strengthened. The guards on the gate are ordered to interpret the law in the strictest sense in order to prevent unauthorized entry. But he gave me no more than two bottles. Damn expensive, that. Who does he think he is? Well, give it here then. I can't give you much for it now. This here's gotta be enough. He can't keep anything to himself. Really, how interesting. It can't go on like this for a time things like that. Bosper said you used to work for him. Yes, I did, but he was only interested in his blasted hides. I told him how dangerous it's gotten out there. He didn't really listen to me. Well, anyway, he paid well. I can't complain about that. Can you tell me anything else about him? <laughs> Bosper had one of his bows stolen recently, in broad daylight. Some guy just walked into his store, took a bow, and left. The thieves are getting more and more brazen. How interesting. he doesn't see that, I can't help him. I knew that would be a problem. Can get away with that? These are bad times. What can I get from you? I can sell you some steel billets. Better shut up. I hardly know what to believe. That's no secret. Don't tell this to Don't tell me, Dad. That's an open secret. Can I borrow some more money from you? No more now. I just had a big outlay and I need every coin. Come back in a few days. These are bad times. Everybody knows my name. I don't believe that. Someone's gotta do the work. That's an open secret. He can't keep anything. He'd better shut up. That's been known a long time. He had better shut up. 